Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Commander and Zed Tower in TDX. Um, I did grind the Battle Pass 100%, and I did make a video about that, so if you're wondering about the Battle Pass, uh, go watch that video. Uh, but yeah, so here's the level 0 Zed. We have 500 HP, 30 DPS, and 1 every 45 seconds, which is pretty good. If we get level 1, oh yeah, also visually, level 0 Zed looks like a zed and uh level one is spike tracks you get 850 hp and 40 dps the spawn time is still the same visually speaking i don't think anything changes except for the tires i'm not too sure i uh, i this map sucks for lighting but i do believe the textures for the tires are like little metal things now level two now has 12 no 1250 sorry uh hp 80 dps and its spawn time is increased by five seconds but uh it does get an aoe cannon which we will see soon yes here we go it gets an arm cannon now this cannon does a hundred damage per shot but the dps is like i don't know 10 maybe something like that and that's pretty much all that changes visually about him you can see zed's performance on this little knight guy here uh he's doing pretty good and the ram damage obviously is very helpful okay i'm gonna go for the mech upgrade or level 3 zed uh the hp increases by 1750 the dps incre is increased to 178 and the spawn time is the same now visually speaking it changes a lot once it spawns in um it has too many guns now and two barrels for its rockets so it will fire in burst the uh, one and two and the mini guns will consistently fire you can see its performance on these guys and something to note is uh the mini guns do not penetrate armor uh, but it will penetrate armor on later levels, but keep note, this does not penetrate armor at level 3, or the levels that came before it. Alright, I'm gonna get the Super Mecha upgrade, which has an insane 5,000 damage, uh, HP and 350 DPS. The spawn time is still the same, and visually speaking, it now has like a burst of 4 cannons on each arm, making it a burst of 8. And also, yes, you would be right, the minigun does switch to laser um bullet type which is uh cool because it can penetrate armor now but something weird about this is that it's not affected by laser resistance at least to my knowledge i tested it in uh the tb normal mode and it did not like lose damage to any uh laser resistance guy so either that's a bug or that's intentional hopefully it's intentional but yeah this is a very good upgrade for the zed being able to shred through a lot of crouch and tank a lot itself oh yeah a huge downside about the zed it does not gain hidden detection at any of its levels until max level which is unfortunate for you know these guys so i'm gonna play sound bradley so i don't die all right so i'm gonna get the max level zed and also yeah that has one path it was if it wasn't obvious enough so the level 5 zed has 10,000 hp 2500 dps the spawn time is increased by 25 seconds which is unfortunate but for the sets you're getting it is really good and it's relatively cheap you could say 150k but it's now at this level it's more supportive and like more clutch and it has an insane range and i'll put up the range on screen right now it is a pretty good on most levels so overall the zed is a pretty good tower it has good crowd control and good single target damage and you can see its uh, performance on the predator i'm gonna bait it uh, i'm gonna bait their attack so zed has more of a chance all right so i locked on to the first predator we did like 20k damage and we have another zed coming up and because of its range and i do recommend using curvy maps like this so he can attack while being completely safe yeah the i do have a bradley remember that but this zed is mainly doing most of the damage look at it almost did 300k damage not this does not account for ram damage too and it took out all the predator that is pretty impressive so yeah zed is a pretty good tower for clutching i have the commander here which has, starts off with small range but the first upgrade is literally range so don't worry about that um but it starts off with a range buff of five and a damage buff of five and a range of eight which isn't that good at uh, level two the uh, range buff increases and this does stack with eddj so you see his range is 20 20.9 if you put eddj it does oh well hold on 
There we go. It does stack. 21. I'm still gonna die. Hold on. Okay, so I'm alive. At level 3, Commander gains Call of Arms, which buffs the damage by 30% for 10 seconds. And if you're wondering, I wondered this too. Com uh, Commander chaining in TDX is possible. It is very funny. I, I really do like that. Also, this is the substitute commander skin. Uh, at level 3, the range buff uh, is increased by a lot. And we have to keep note that it does stack. So I'm going to max out EDDJ here, bottom path. And I'm going to get this commander at level 4. And it went from 21 to 22.8, which is pretty good. And now um, at level 4, the commander has this ACP ability, which spawns in an APC every 30 seconds with... Uh, 800 HP and yes, it is the same one from the ability just spawns in as one instead of multiple and the call of arms uh, Remains the same pretty much just lasts longer uh, Now at last the last level is pretty expensive But the range buff is increased the passive damage buff is increased the range is increased by well a lot And if you pair with ED DJ, it would be very good But mainly we have the air strike ability which I can't use right now because there's a it's an annoying guy. Yeah, but anyway, the airstrike ability is the same one from the power ups, and yes, it does spawn in a jet from the skies and, you know, sends in an airstrike. It does have infinite range, let me show you. Like, yeah, like, it does have infinite range, even though it outrages the commander's range. I've said range a lot. But yeah, I can send it over here, and it will send in an airstrike. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna showcase every level, but look at the ED DJ skin. It is pretty cool looking, and I wonder if I get a bottom half rail gunner, which looks really sick in like tower battles. The top half looks kind of corny, I'll be honest. But yeah, I can get this to like. 10k damn it that is pretty cool overall these towers are very nice to have and it sucks that they're locked behind a battle pass it really does and if you're wondering yes uh zeds can kill the eradicator mk2 by itself i tried oh guys look that is doing it easy pickings the eradicator does nothing but anyways guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video